everyone, I'm Laura. For my video today, I'm going to show you how to get some really nice, perfect, beachy, soft looking hair. Now, I bet you're all thinking, but Laura, your hair, it's already looking fantastic. No. If you can see up close, try to come in without being blurry. My hair looks wet and crunchy. No. This is not 2000. I'm not going around with wet, crunchy looking hair. I want to make this look soft. So what I did first to get it to this stage, washed my hair this morning, and then I went and I blow dried it a whole bunch. It was almost dry. And I just kind of rough dried it all over the place. I didn't really comb it because I just wanted it to look kind of wild and crazy. And then I took some mousse and I scrunched it in my hair. And I got it up in my roots and I got it all over my ends and I scrunched it everywhere. The reason why I wanted it to be dry is because if it's too wet, my hair is really straight. And if it's wet and it has to dry a lot, it just starts pulling it down and down and down like this. My hair is so straight, I don't have these curls in my hair. These are just because I scrunched it up like this, and then they hardened and pretty much dried in the shape of this from the mousse, you know? Curl it up for me. Anyway, so I did that, and now I've let my hair dry. It's completely dried, but it is crunchy, and I'm not really into it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of mush my hair like this and try to get the crunchiness out of it. So, but what I don't want to do, what you guys don't want to do either, is do it from the bottom because what's going to happen, your hair is going to be all stuck together from the mousse up at the roots and then it's going to go out like this and you're going to have this stupid A looking hair. So what you need to do is start roughing up your hair, softening up the mousse look to get it to crunch by going up at your roots. So this is what I do. Just slowly kind of pull your hair up at the root and don't try to get it too far like too far down you know what I mean and just rough this up a bit if you feel a crunchy bit you know pull it out with your fingers like this get it underneath there you can pull it out a little bit if you need to and this is good because it'll just make your hair more voluminous and it's not going to pull out any of your curls and it's just going to soften that look up I can already tell but my roots is better and then I'm just going to Give this, my ends, just a little light, a light squeeze. Ah. So and this is looking pretty good. I have a little bit of a softer look. But my key thing that I do, I discovered this years ago, not scrunching my hair. It was after, you know, I didn't wash my hair for six days or something and I had been curling it the whole entire time and it was all crunchy and dry looking. This is what gives me my perfect waves. Spray some leave-in conditioner on your ends. It just goes on there. Don't put in a lot or else it's not going to be good. But just put a few sprays. It softens it up and gives the perfect curls. It takes away all the crunch. It's amazing. Watch this. So, put a few sprays all over your hair and then re-squish it in. And it just makes it so perfect. And then your hair will be really, really nice and soft. You won't have that crunch and it'll stay wavy. It doesn't pull the curls out at all. It's perfect. I don't even know why I decided I was going to put leave-in conditioner in my dry, curly hair. But I did and it was awesome. And it actually will like extend the length of your curls that you have too. And you can get a couple more days out of them without it looking all frizzy and fried. So, there. We go! Yay! So awesome! Great! There we go! Okay! Beachy curly hair! It's not crunchy looking, it's not wet looking, it's nice. It's just pretty beachy and if you can tell it almost looks curlier than it did before and it's bigger. It's totally awesome! Anyway, that's how you can get your perfect beachy curls. Let me know how it worked for you. Like it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!